Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm getting back to the four wheel motorcycle. I just got a nice seat from Go Power Sports, so I'm going to install that, and then later on in the video I'll take it for a test drive. And one other thing that apparently I needed to mention in the last video is that yes, I am aware that it is only a three wheel motorcycle right now, but it's a work in progress, so eventually it will be a four wheel motorcycle. And I'm going to continue to call it a four wheel motorcycle, even though it's not right now. Some people last video um, weren't so happy about the false advertising, and I just want to say it's a work in progress, it's not finished right now. It eventually will be a four wheel motorcycle. So, anyways, enjoy the video. Okay, so here's where I am now. I got this seat on there, secured nice and sturdy. I think that seat looks really nice on there. So some preparations for the test drive I have set up here. I got the handlebars back on there. These are from the drift trike, as you can see here, because I don't have another set of handlebars for this, so I'll have to use this for the time being. In the last video I made on this, some people pointed out that I should have some type of header on here so that the exhaust valve doesn't warp once it cools down. So I put this little thing on there. This is just a little header pipe that I got from the engine I'm going to be using for the Ford mower. You can see it right there. So that's just a quick temporary thing to have something on there. That was a good tip. That. The gas tank over here, I'm still not using this gas tank here because for this I still need to set up a fuel pump and I probably want to um, coat this inside with just gas tank coater or line or whatever just to make sure there's no leaks or anywhere like that. So what I got here is this little thing. This is part of an AC unit to a car that I just picked up and it's just a little aluminum thing there with a tube on top and a tube coming out of the bottom and I just have that connected to some gas line going right into the carburetor there. And that'll work for, for just the test rides, since I don't need too much gas at all for, for this. And then lastly, let me just talk about the steering setup I have here. I have yet to find some proper square tubing, is what I'm looking for, to replace this, this round stuff here. Because there's a lot of slop in this slot here that comes down with this bolt. Um, I did look at some steering shafts from cars and that sort of stuff and they do have kind of what I'm looking for but none of them have as much travel as I need here because this is like this is a good six or eight inches here of travel that I need so what I have for just today is this little clamp here that I've tack welded onto there and I can tighten this down a little bit just to tighten up the whole steering system in general because this is the only part here that I'm really getting the slot from it's not going to be as good as what I want to do eventually but until I get the parts in that I need this will should work for now so yeah that's pretty much where I'm at right now so now I'll take it for a test drive
Okay, so all in all, I think the test drive went went pretty good. It's getting easier to turn. Um, it just takes some getting used to, I think. But I wasn't really able to clamp down this clamp too much here because if you clamp it down a lot, then this won't slide at all. And then that'll put all the stress on this piece right here and it'd probably break it off right down there. So I didn't want to risk doing that. But I was able to tighten it a little bit and it did clear up some of the slop in the steering and that did make it a little bit easier to turn. I still think the main problem for turning is these these squared off tires here. They don't really want to lean too much because um, it was a lot easier to turn left than right because I have this big heavy torque converter on the left there kind of pulling the thing over to the left. So, so when I turn right, I'm fighting the, the profile of the tires and the natural lean of the, that the torque converter wants to make it go. So, but I think it, it's getting better. The engine itself performs really well. I'm happy with how it's running and everything after the changes I made to it. And in general, everything seems to be holding up pretty well. So I'm happy with that. These two front tires do kind of vibrate on those front wheels, on those front axles, I mean, a little bit so that when I do end up getting new tires for these, I'll probably also get new wheels that have bearings in them instead, because right now those are just like, um, with some have some grease in there and they're just like rubbing against the axle. And that's not ideal, so that's what I'll do in the future, apart from also getting the gas tank itself worked out and then the, the tires. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.